All right, this video was going to be on how to set up your transmitter to work with your Nozzle H flight controller. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hold down the button or the roller, I mean, and turn on the radio. Then we're going to go to model select and we want heli or helicopter of course let me check that we are on helicopter so no hit back right here to go back to the screen then you can name your model and then, then right here you want to set up your swatch plate to one servo normal. Switch select is where you uh, select your switches. Now on the DX8 you want your flight mode switch to be this three position switch. I have mine on the flight mode switch which that channel has to be on auxiliary two. You want the gyro to your gear channel. Light mode setup. See that's inhibited. Now I can turn that on and put it on this switch. This switch, elevator, aileron. put it on a gyro switch you can put it wherever you want F flight mode that's be on the left hold governor mix I like to put mine on the three position switch over here on the rudder dual rate switch hold you want that on mix or hold yes that's the one okay trim setup now it's very important right here on trim setup you do not want to use any trims so what I do on this, or any sub trims I should say, run these all down to zero. Except for rudder. You can still trim the rudder, but that is the only thing you can trim. Warnings. I like to turn them off for setting up the radio and everything because if you have to set the speed controller you don't want these going off but you do want them on for everyday use just in case you have high throttle or switch out of place it will warn you telemetry frame rate we want 11 that's, that's the fastest all right now we go back to the main menu okay let's see we got our hold switch is working. Flight mode is switch is working. Okay. Now we'll go into servo setup and you want to set everything here to 150. On the spectrum radios they go all the way up to 150 instead of a hundred percent 
Don't know why. No sub trims. Again, no sub trims. If you have to do any kind of sub trimming on the servo plate, you do that in the, or not the servo plate, I mean this wash plate. You do that in the software. You know, this is where you make sure you're this is not all that important because if it's not moving right here you can make it move right in your software as you can see the stick on this radio needs to be adjusted because it is not giving me center position on aileron but that's no big deal this is just for setup purposes only Okay. Speed normal. Again, travel on throttle, aileron, elevator, rudder. Now, gear, you can leave that at 100%. It's not that big a deal. And you want your pitch at 150 and on aux 2 is where you set your uh, flight mode switch up here to coincide with your software but right here is a pretty good start on that 84 and 80 will get you real close and you can dial it in on your software Okay, DR and Expo. I don't know if you guys use this or not, but I really like to use it on helicopters just to soften up the sticks. So, your uh, elevator switch is here. Up with 100%. We're on aileron, and that is on this side here. So what we want, we want to leave this, the top one at 100. And go to the middle one, which is position. One. take this down to 80 and take this one up to 20 now for <clears throat> some reason it's not moving both sets of numbers on aileron on this radio but it will on the elevator side as you can see here but we want to go back to aileron because we're not done. We want to set position 2. Down to 70. That's not 70. And then up to 30. And this will soften your stick up real nicely. So just to check, you got 80, 20, 70, 30, and 100 percent. Now we need to do the elevator. Flip that's not position one. Take that down to 80 and up to 20, just like the aileron. In position to same thing 30 and 70 
and this is the starting point you may want to adjust yours accordingly to your your like but this makes that helicopter a lot more controllable in manual now one tip is when you're flying in manual and you're in position one on your aileron and elevator when you go to auto level you want to go back to 100 percent on these because you will not have much movement at all if you don't all right And I usually just leave the rudder alone. You can do the same thing on it too. And you can change it, your uh, switch to governor switch here because this is aux 2 that's been moved over to the flight mode switch. If you want. But the rudder is super slow when you're in auto level. Alright, auto cut. We want that hold zero. So you can see I have throttle. Hit the switch, no throttle. That's what we want. Throttle curve. Normal zero 2550, you know, with all that. And you can set up your throttle curve accordingly to how you like it. I like to set the first position to 80, 75. way you're at when you're at half stick hovering or whatever you're like at 70% throttle and you can leave that one there because once you go to auto level on the NASA it will set your throttle wherever your stick is when you hit auto level that's where it's going to set your throttle so if you're at three quarters and you come down some and then you decide to go back to manual when you flip that switch you're going to fall like a rock because your throttle's too low. Just remember that. Unless you use your idle up mode switch. Okay. And uh And position two, you can run that up higher. If you want to go to 100%, you can. On that side of it. And that's what you want on H. Let's hold zeros. All right. And that's that. Pitch curve. You leave that alone. That is a linear curve there. You want a straight line. Gyro. We want it on. We want switch. gyro that gives us a three position setting for our gyro now 
you can see how I'm flipping the switch it's moving the arrow position one well, go to position one dummy all right minus 35 on a spectrum will put you in rate mode all right position two 35 is a good place to start but I like to go up to about 42 on that one and in position two you can go up a little higher or lower depending on what 42 does for you but whatever you have on here is not going to be what you see on the software it's going to be less but don't worry about that about 44 and a half on that second one I uh, see when you flip your switch you're there no but minus 35 for that first setting will put you in rate mode and that's what you want okay governor inhibit tail curve you don't want nothing there mixing you don't want nothing there range test timer uh, depending on the size of your battery I think the default is uh, five minutes and this is your monitor where you can see what your controls are doing And now when I move my rudder, it's going in the opposite direction of my thumb. So, go back to servo setup, go to reverse, rudder. All right, now when I move left, it's moving left. Aileron is the same way. So now when I move it right, it goes right, I go left, it goes left. Elevator. Gyro. pitch and aux 2 just that and your aux 3 put on your switch alright then that should pretty well take care of it but like I say my stick is off on my radio here on my aileron And if yours is like that too, you have to get it adjusted. Okay. And that's all there is to setting up the radio. I hope this helped and didn't confuse you. <laughs> and like always, hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you have any questions don't be shy just ask that's how I learned